This is all I'm seeing in the sky. It's pathetic. Like clouds. It's been like that since uh, India's landing. Hi everyone, my name is Bruce. Thanks so much for stopping by, for taking the time to subscribe, for following the channel, and for those of you who have been here since the beginning, rock on. Thanks so darn much. Isn't it beautiful, the surface of the moon? You know, we see a lot of lights on the surface of the moon. They are around the craters. But aside from just reflection, we actually see blinking lights. As I've showed throughout the years, it's been over three years now that I've been showing many lights on the surface and there's more there's more there's more and you know the closer we're going to get the more we are going to see this is a spectacular view of the colors on top of clavius crater we're very very close the craterlets are the size of mountains as you can see here uh, i'll get some music up and i'll be explaining along the way as i jump in here and there thanks for watching everyone Well, there's a pretty thick atmosphere on the surface of the moon. We can see the dusts, and the closer we get, obviously, we're going to see them more and more. It's, it's you know, it's not going to disappear, but we can filter through it. Um, there are nights that the veil is not as thick, so we profit from that. We film along the Terminator line, and that's what's hiding the surface. You know, it's I believe it's that dust that's making everything look like a, a film of saran wrap, right? Look, everything look flat and even, when in reality, it's hiding all the mountainous objects underneath the veil. Heavy veil of smoke, uh, bright lights, and a science no one understands. According to this theory, moon dust particles on the daytime side of the moon can build a positive charge when radiation from the sun kicks electrons out of atoms of dust. Um, at 155 miles, they say, or 250 kilometers above the surface of the moon, uh, there's a spacecraft looking for dust in the lunar atmosphere. They never said there wasn't an atmosphere. They just don't talk about it. NASA does say that the moon has an um, unusual, even many unusual gases 
on the surface. This was said by NASA themselves. They also talk about mysterious lights. The term, proper term, is transient lunar phenomenon, electrical fires. They also say sodium and potassium is found in the atmosphere of the moon as it is not, so they say, here on Earth in our atmosphere. These are the Apennine Mountains, the Apennine Mountain Range on the surface of the moon. Archimedes top center there, the big crater in the distance, but look on the bottom center and bottom right. This is what's hard to see. By inverting the photo, I'm showing you what's along the Apennine Mountains. And I'm telling you again, it's basically seen as flat when you look at it, but uh, you know, a proper inversion, simple, uh, contrast adjusted, whatnot. And look on the bottom here now. Um, now we don't see beside the Apennine Mountains so well, but we see a little further out. And that way I go get as much detail as I can of the surface. And for some it's not much, but for me, it is so much being able to see all of this. Very interesting, low gravity, they say, on the surface of the moon, right? Okay, this is what we're gonna be talking about in the atmosphere, but here's an interesting thing. They say that the moon's low gravity, there's light atoms such as helium receive um, enough energy from solar heating so that they escape in just a few hours. Uh, heavier atoms take longer to escape, but are ultimately ionized by the sun's ultraviolet radiation. I'm repeating what they say are, is a fact, after which they are um, carried away from the moon by the solar wind. Takes a few months, they say, the process because of the rate of which atoms escape from the lunar atmosphere. Um, here's the thing, gases in the lunar atmosphere are easily lost to, to space, that's what they're saying, because of the moon's low gravity. But all this talk and this is just speculation and theory and just my own uh, thoughts, maybe not even necessarily any confirmation, right? But what I find it funny that, you know, how to distract someone from the attention of even thinking there could be vegetation or life on the surface of the moon. Let me tell you, they could tell you, and that's exactly what they're doing, telling us there's radon, neon in the air, polonium, all these dangerous gases, you know, and even some unusual and unknown gases which would definitely lead scientists away from believing that anything could ever have lived or is living on the surface of the moon. This is the surface of Sinus Iridum and the mountain range and all the surrounding area. And let's take a little peek at where uh, China's lander would have landed. Uh, not here in the circle, I'll get an arrow up right down there. We're going towards it. That's what the surface would look like. I get asked a lot, Bruce, just yesterday again and the day before, please show me that square crater you said that you posted, I can't find the video gonna take 10 actually 20 25 seconds to put it back up here it is it's um, not a perfect square as you can see there are some I've shown but this one here in particularly you can see the 90 degree angle as it uh, goes up and then turns around but over top it's a cover like I say we don't see what's underneath so there could very well be a square there obviously and the surrounding objects could be just a camouflage and of course this is speculation theory without any confirmation just sharing a belief uh, of what I'm seeing with the telescope So I somehow got mixed up and somebody told me uh, Thanksgiving was Monday. I don't know if it was a joke or not, but I believed it and it's not. It's only the 14th. So haha, jokes on me. This is my mailing address. Bye.